Okay, and welcome back to another Kodu tutorial. In today's video, we'll be trying to make a combat game where we control a player while enemies are trying to shoot us. The first thing we'll do is just go ahead and design a landscape. So I'm going to go ahead and start by just adding some more land into the game. Okay, in addition to some more land, let's go ahead and add some terrain. and maybe a few objects. Okay, looks good for now. Let's go ahead and start by adding a Kodu into the game. So make sure you click on the object tool. And then once this menu pops up, you're going to click on Kodu. For the Kodu, we're going to program it to move to start with. So I'm going to right click on Kodu and then click on program. For the wind section we're going to say keyboard and then for the next part you can either choose the arrow keys or WASD. I'm going to go ahead and choose WASD. For the do section we're going to click on it and then select move and then if you'd like you can add quickly to this and you can do this up to three times. Let's go ahead and press escape and we'll test our game so far. So right now, when I press the W, A, S, and D keys, it should move around the screen. Okay, it looks like it's working, so let's go ahead and press Escape and go back. The next thing I'm going to do is program the Kodu, that whenever I press the space bar, it'll shoot a missile. Okay, so I'll press Program. For the Wind section, I'm still using part of the keyboard, but this time I'm going to be using the space bar, which is under Miscellaneous here. Okay, when the space bar is pressed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot. And you can either choose the blip or the missile. For now, I'm going to choose the missile. And let's go ahead and test it out now. So I should be able to move. And then whenever I press the space bar, it should shoot a missile. Okay, press the space bar to shoot a missile. Okay, everything looks good so far. So let's go ahead and go back. So this is going to be the player that we're going to control. So let's go ahead and do the next thing, which is going to be adding the enemy, which will be trying to shoot us. So I'm going to click on the object tool, and then select somewhere in the back. And I'm going to add a cannon, which is right here. Okay, for the cannon, what I'm going to do is for the programming, I'm going to say when it sees Kodu. And then under Options here, I'm going to say Line of Sight. What I'm going to have it do is I'm going to have it turn toward it. So whenever it sees the Kodu, it's going to turn to face Kodu. Let's go ahead and test that part of it. So pressing Play, I'm going to be watching the cannon to see if it turns toward Kodu. Okay, good. And then anytime the Kodu moves, the cannon adjusts itself and turns to wherever Kodu is going. Alright, so the next part, let's go ahead and have the cannon shoot. So I'm going to go back to the object tool and then right click on my cannon to program. Down here, I'm going to say basically, basically the same thing up here. So I'm going to say C, Kodu, and then Options, Line of Sight. This time, instead of turning, I'm going to have it shoot a missile. So we're going to change this later on. I just want to show you what this does for now. So when I press play, it shoots a missile. And then I'll do it one more time. And what you're looking for is the missile actually tracks Kodu. So wherever Kodu moves, the missile follows it, which makes it kind of hard to escape. So what we can do to fix that is if we go back to the programming for the cannon. And right next to the missile here, I'm going to press the plus sign. And I'm going to have it just shoot in a particular direction. And I'm just going to have it shoot forward. So what this is going to do, it's going to turn the cannon in the direction of Kodu. And then it's going to shoot a missile in the forward direction. So this prevents it from tracking Kodu and makes it a little bit easier. So now if I press play, I can run away. 
Oops, that's how we blew up. So let me go try it one more time. So if I run away and keep moving, so the missile no longer tracks me. So it makes it a little bit easier to escape. Okay, and then with Kodu, I can try to shoot the cannon. Oops, it looks like I hit the other missile. All right, so there's a few more things we're going to add to this real quick. So while the two robots are fighting each other, let's go ahead and add some objects on the ground that Kodu can pick up. So under the object tool, let's go ahead and add some coins. And we'll add a couple more. There we go. And then we'll go and do some programming for the Kodu. And on line three, we're going to say when bumped. And then it's going to, when it bumps into the coin. So when bump coin, what it's going to do is we're going to have it eat the coin. And then also when it bumps into the coin, we're going to have it give Kodu a point. So we're going to go under game. And then we're going to add score. We're going to do it in the color red. The color doesn't matter. And then after that, we tell it how many points we want it to add, which we'll say one. Okay, so now every time the Kodu bumps into a coin, it's going to eat it. And also, whenever it bumps into the coin, it'll add one point for the Kodu score. Okay, let's go ahead and try it out. So while you're avoiding the missiles from the cannon, you can try to collect the coins. without blowing up. Okay, so I got one point. Let's see if I can destroy the cannon. Oop, almost got it. All right, so let's make it a little bit easier on myself and for the programming for the Kodu. What I'm gonna do is add some more quicklies, that way I can move a little bit faster. Okay, and if I press play, we'll try it again. Okay, I got one of the coins, and I still blew up. Okay, well, I hope you're better at playing Kodu than I am. There's still a lot you can customize with this game. So, for example, if you don't like the missiles, you can change them to blimps. You can add more uh, objects into the game. You can add more cannons. And let me show you how to do that real quick. So instead of getting a new cannon and having to reprogram the whole thing, what you can do is you can right-click on your cannon, press Copy, and then click somewhere on a different piece of land and press paste and now you have two cannons that'll that have the same programming so if I open up the program for this one it has what I wrote before so if you want to make it more difficult you can have two cannons that shoot missiles at you at the same time okay I couldn't handle one cannon so I'll probably keep it at one for me but if you're better than I am go ahead and try two this is gonna be the end of this tutorial I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one